One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around ten o'clock tonight. We know how this starts. The opening clip of American Graffiti. Who would have ever thought that American Graffiti would start out with a rockabilly song? But it starts way before the days of American Graffiti. Back in 1937, the first notes of rock and roll aired over a Modesto radio station, KTRB 860. The trail in the history of rock and roll music that people inspired all over rock and roll generation leads directly to Modesto's doorstep. Yes, my friends, rock and roll was born right here in Modesto, USA in 1937. Not another Modesto, our Modesto. The same Modesto that's the home of American Graffiti is also the cradle of the modern music civilization. How can this be? Why don't we have billboards on the freeway and giant museums celebrating our birthplace? These are good questions, and now is the time to change all of that and take our place in the Roots of Rock and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Although there were some earlier R&B songs like Rocket 88 and 1951, the first song commonly agreed as the opening chords of rock and roll was That's All Right Mama by Elvis Presley, recorded in 1954 at the Sun Studios in Memphis with his band The Blue Moon Boys. This song has direct roots to the string slapping sounds played on a big stand-up bass by Fred Maddox in Modesto, California. Yes, those first notes of rock and roll were slap right here in Modesto, USA. In 1937, these sounds were broadcast live for the world to hear on our own KTRB radio station 860 by Fred and Clay Maddox and then 11-year-old sister Rose playing as the Alabama Outlaws. This radio station was at the corner of Sylvan McHenry and had a transmitter built by Modesto's own Cecil Lynch, who passed away in September of 2013. There are many roots of rock and roll, but the root that made rock rock came from Modesto, California, USA. This stat rock and stand-up bass sound that was so exciting was the clickety-clackety of the big fat strings being slapped against the fingerboard. The strings were plucked so hard that the string would slap back and made a percussion sound when your fingers slapped back against it, and Fred would just beat on the strings to make it clack even more. This boogie bass sound of Fred Maddox was changing music and became known as Hillbilly Boogie. The Maddox sound became famous across the USA on radio and four-star label recordings and their memorable live performances. The Maddox Brothers and Rose were known as America's most colorful hillbilly band. Fred's bass sound influenced musicians all across the USA. Fred Maddox's bass is part of the collection at the Experience Music Project in Seattle. It is there because the first notes of rock and roll may have been played on that instrument. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marty Stewart. I'd like to thank the Modesto Area Music Association for honoring one of America's legendary families of music, the Maddox Brothers and Rose. I finally got to meet Don Juan. Um, couple of three years ago. I heard he was moving, he wrote me a letter, told me he had married him a child bride and he was making him a new record. And I called Merle Haggard, he says, and he's got a hit on it. That's what his letter said. And uh, America's newest, oldest, oldest, newest singing sensation, I think is what he said. So I called Merle Haggard and I said, Hag, Don Maddox says he's got a hit on his record. Hag says, well, he probably does then. So I invited him to come to Nashville and we became instant friends and I love Don Maddox. And I can tell you, you could, you know, it, it's, it's tr truly having, you know, somebody, a, a great musical architect on stage, great showman, great man, and so it, it's an honor to get to, you know, speak out on behalf of this family tonight. I'm proud to present the Lifetime Mama Award to K.C. Don Maddox, my hero, for all of his many accomplishments, for changing music forever and making hillbilly boogie music, the foundation of rockabilly, rock and roll, and country music. Come get your reward, Don Juan. Ladies and gentlemen, KC Don Juan Don, we would like to present you with the very award that Marty Stewart, here I'll take, I'll, I'll handle your fiddle here for you. KC Don Juan Maddox of the Maddox Brothers and Rose. <laughs>